Our, our position is that it should be withdrawn, full stop. Don't even talk about amendment. It is not a bill that can even be saved by amendments because there is a fundamental flaw in that what it seeks to do is to restrict our right to assemble. It is not a bill that recognizes our right to assemble. It is a bill that seeks to restrict our right to assemble. So our view is that that bill should be withdrawn immediately. When the Prime Minister announced the revocation of the emergency declarations, that was a good thing, a good step. But it was overshadowed and ruined by the fact that they introduced this peaceful assembly bill. So on the one hand, they appear to be giving you something, but on the other hand, they're taking away much more. So I'm sorry, or it should have been good news, the, the re revoking of the uh, emergency declarations, but it is completely ruined by the peaceful assembly bill because it shows that the government really is more interested in um, restricting our rights rather than giving us more rights. And another way they are restricting is by saying that the organiser has to ensure that everybody uh, behaves peacefully, doesn't, uh, you know, uh, uh, they has, is responsible for the conduct of every person who participates. You tell me how that's possible. It's not possible. So in so many different ways, that's why the public is not aware. But in very many ways, what they have done is completely taken away the right to freedom of assembly. So be careful. Watch, watch out for the wording in that bill. Because of what it contains, it has actually taken away our right to freedom of assembly. If it's uh, called the, the Myanmar Protest Bill. Myanmar? Protest what? Bill. And there's no prohibition on street protest. Uh, I, do, I don't know the details. I'll have to give that to you. It, it was it's a yesterday. bill. Yesterday. 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 Yeah. Uh, it's, Just six time, it's six times more, more democratic than ours because it's only five days instead of 30 days. And they don't charge you for 10,000 ringgit, yes. 30,000 ringgit. Uh, obviously, they are far more liberal in their bill than we have been. And the two main issues for me are the notice period. And more importantly, they don't prohibit street protest. I would actually say it's no street protest. And as an example of how restrictive it is, they had to have a schedule to exclude funerals and weddings. That's how restricted. Otherwise, they'll be caught. That's the point. If they have to specifically mention it in the schedule, it shows you how restrictive our bill is. Because it has to exclude these two. Otherwise, they will be caught. To me, there is no redeeming feature, feature in this bill. You cannot amend it. The Myanmar military government is always totally undemocratic, which it is, yeah. Activist. Well, exactly, which is why it's such a, it, it's so shameful that even Myanmar can uh, come up with a more liberal bill than, than we can. And I really don't know what they're afraid of. It just, it's a, it's a bill that shows how paranoid they are. And we are paying for their paranoia.